What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Juggalo972 Plays Final Fantasy VI. Now, when we last left off, we left off at the beginning. We escaped uh, the, the uh, Magitek Empire. We are out of Narsh, and we have to head south in the desert to South Figaro. We are on the world map. Let's take a look at what we got. Plenty of items to work with. But we can't go back because we're being pursued. So let's keep rolling, shall we? Moving forward. Here we go. There's the desert. And, oh, there it is. And the castle we go. <clears throat> Figaro Castle. Wait. Oh, it's you. Proceed. Yes, and we shall proceed. Alrighty. Let's keep going. Hmm. Kind of fancy. Not to mention, very, very, very sandy, too. Let's see. Hmm. Who could be in charge of such a place? Say hello to the king. You mean this young woman? Hmm. Who do you think you are? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> How rude of me to turn my back to a lady. The young king of Figaro Castle, ally to the Empire, and a master designer, de uh, designer of machinery. His name is Edgar Figaro. King Edgar. Quite a gentleman, too. I am Edgar, king of Figaro. Surprised someone like me knows a king? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Talk to you later. So, you're an Imperial soldier. No problem. Figaro and the Empire are allies. Please, relax while you're here. It's none of my blood to harm a lady. <laughs> because of her abilities? <laughs> I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would be a distant third. Huh? What's with you anyway? I guess my techniques are getting a bit rusty. <laughs> I suppose a normal man would have found him dashing, but I'm hardly normal. Sweetheart, we are all hardly normal. Well, while we're at it, let's go shopping around a little bit. Let's go see what the shops have available. Received a soft. Cure from petrification. Alright, sorry about that. Some technical difficulties, had to get that out of the way. Get that out of the way real quick. What else do we have? Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna need this. This is for Edgar. These are his tools. Now, as I said, he's a master designer in machinery. See, I wanted to go into, originally whenever I went to college, I went to school for engineering, but unfortunately for me though, everybody around me wanted to do, well, in the area. Everybody in the area really wanted, uh, what is it, uh, architectural drafting. And I'll tell you right now, I did not want to be an architect. I'll tell you this right now, it's, it's, a, respected, uh, it's a respected career, but architecture is just not my thing. It's very, very complicated. Anybody who's gone to school for uh, architecture will tell you that. Edgar has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. Hmm. Brother, what is wrong with father? What's all this talk of his successor? Are you blind? Look how thin his face has become. 
What is it? Brother! Huh? Tears? Poor Edgar, he was crying. Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his own freedom. Sabin Figaro. He's the strong man out of everybody. As you can tell, walking around with his tank top. Man, the guy's got guns, what can I say? Yes, his name is Sabin. Oh, he looks so like his father. When he ran away, he was a sweet little child. I wonder what he's like now. Okay, well, after uh, that little reunion, we're going to go back to the throne room. And back to the throne room we are. Magic of video editing. Well, how do you like my castle? Edgar, someone from the Empire is here to see you. Hmm. Probably Kefka. Hmm. <clears throat> Empress just all stupid orders. You pinhead! Why do you have to live in the middle of nowhere? These recon jobs are the pits. <clears throat> There's sand on my boots. Oh! Wow. Yes, sir! All set, sir! <laughs> Idiots. Wow. What a bad human being. Sir Kefka, what on earth do... Out of my way. Oh, yeah, this guy's uh, definitely got an attitude problem, I'll tell you that. <sighs> well, let's go make a confrontation, shall we? I thought we were allies. What are you doing in my dominion? You've been busy down south. Looking for more cities to destroy? Well, that's for us to know. Okay. What brings Kefka, humble servant of Emperor, to stall to my lowly presence? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she was found she has found refuge here. Hmm. This wouldn't have to be anything with this witch everyone is whispering about, would it? <laughs> Lies! She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. You see, there are more girls in the grains of sand out there. I can't keep track of them all. I hate to be you if we found out you were lying. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. Yeah, that sounded like a threat. I'd say that guy's missing a few buttons. Where's Tara? Take her to her room. I'd love to chat with you, but the Chancellor and I must plan our strategy. Sometimes I hate being a king. If you'll excuse me. Well, at least he's generous. He's got manners. Okay, well, following you, Locke. That sounded like a threat, though. Kefka is a terrible human being, and a bit of a klutz, too. That's one thing you'll notice as uh, we progress. Let's move down, and... Let's see. Keep moving upwards this way. Don't you worry about a thing. Ow. You're Locke, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true that you're a thief? <laughs> That's Treasure Hunter! On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. Truth is, he's collaborating with the Returners in an organization opposed to the Empire. I'm his contact with that group. The old man you just met in the Narsh, and Narsh is one of us. Unfortunately, you are, sweetie. Hey, that's not true. They were just using you. Things are different now. Yeah, I can't tell you what to do. You don't have to decide right away, but soon you'll find your way. How will I know which way is right? Hmm. What did we get here? Huh? 
Huh? What the? There is something wrong. Okay. Oh. Yep, that was a threat. What's happening? It's the Empire. It's Kefka. What are you doing? <laughs> Bring me the girl now. I don't know what you're talking about. Then, welcome to my barbecue. <laughs> you know what? Barbecue does sound good. Get ready. Yes, sir. Changed your mind? <sighs> I guess I have no choice. Whoop. Whoop. Or maybe I do. Hmm. What an escape. Ah, shameful act that a king would flee, leaving his people behind. How utterly delightful. Jump! Oh. Strategy, huh? Okay, dive now. Say, hey, don't get carried away, asshole. Things are just getting started. South Figaro, submerge mode. No one can touch the people of Figaro. It's pretty impressive. A castle and a sand submarine. If you want to call it that. Ugh. <laughs> He's just laying in the sand. <laughs> You gotta admit, though, he looks kinda silly just laying there. Go! Get them! See, I wish I would've been able to run with the Magitek armor like that. Okay, here we go. Just two old regular Magitek armors. Let's see what we can steal from them. You know what? Show them some magic power, how about that? Give them with the auto crossbow. Stole a tonic. Fire! <gasps> uh oh. Agar, what's the matter? You look like you. You look positively spooked. Did, 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 did you just see what I saw? Yeah, that kid seems loaded for bear. She's amazing. That was magic. Magic! M m m m m m m magic? She used magic? <laughs> Where on earth did you learn that? <laughs> Sorry, I, uh... Look, we didn't make such a big deal out of it. Me either. It's just that I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... Edgar, Terra can use magic and we can't. That's the only difference between us. In fact, we could use her help. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Edgar. Wink. Uh... Stop swooning. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Magitek. Uh, Magitek armor. Um, yeah. Just these are not really hard. I can tell you that right now. Ow. Here. Definitely need to heal. Let's keep. Uh, you definitely want to keep using auto crossbow though. Because, uh, nope, since uh, there's not very much magic available right now just by one person. Oh! There goes nothing. It's two potions, but no experience points. Bravo, Figaro! See you later, Kafka. <laughs> you son of a submariner. <laughs> Think what he means is, you son of a bitch. Hey, this is great. Um, yeah, that was a bad person, all right. There's someone I'd like you to meet. We're members of the Returners. Our mentor, Bannon, would certainly like to meet you. Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Yes, magic. Terra has magical powers. That Esper seemed to react to her. Can there be some connection? Natural, huh? 
But no human is born with the powers you seem to have, and... Huh. I apologize. I'm sure the Empire is going to come after you. If they get their hands on you, then this world is finished. Terry, you want to understand your own powers, right? Then I think we need to go consult with Bannon. Please. Okay. To the south there is a cave that leads to South Figaro. Here we go. And this amazing Mode 7. That's one thing I loved about the Super Nintendo was the Mode 7. It was huge back then. So like how, uh, like how Treb says, it was huge. It was huge. And the cool part about, you know, riding on a Chocobo is no encounters whatsoever. No battle encounters, no nothing. Can ride all the way around, but there's no towns around here that you can really take or go to. Other than going back to Narsh, that's it, but we don't want to go back to Narsh. So let's head back south to, uh, to South Figaro, to the cave to South Figaro. And let's see. I know I just saw it, that's what, no, there it is. Unfortunately, you can't take your chocobos with you, so. See you later, buddy. And yeah, here we go. Let's see, I know I had a tent, too. Uh, apparently not. But I got four sleeping bags. You know what? We're okay. So let me give her a, give her a tonic real quick. And I think we're good here. Let's keep moving forward, shall we? King Edgar, where are you headed? Through the cave and eastward to South Figaro. Return to the castle and tell the others we're safe. Yes, sir. Take care. Lucky ass with a chocobo. All right. Now, for this episode, I think I'm going to go and just cut it off here. Um, but we will return. Well, I'll return with y'all real soon. Much love, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.